Hey guys, welcome to Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous Part 31. If you've been tracking me today, just to let you know, I've been streaming a lot. I uh, But I only got an hour and like 45 minutes in to Pathfinder earlier today because I had a surprise company come over. So it's very important for me that I, being the holidays, I had to take time away. Um, I do apologize. But the problem was, I have an itch. It itches. I, I, I need to play. I also, I need to know what's happening in the story. You don't play this game without d delving into the story. Uh, we were able to level up, which actually took most of the time, level up the other characters' mythic levels. I didn't realize you could do that. Cool. And it looks like there's a lot of dialogue with the companions we need to check out. And we need to delve back into the city and check out what's going on there. Let's do this. It's called an addiction. It's a... Uh, it's only addiction if I'm having withdrawals. Now, now, give me the juice. <laughs> it might be an addiction. Happy to say, my mythic level gave my little dragon now a medium-sized dragon. It goes up one more size category. I can use it as a mount, which would be really cool. See, there's the dialogue. I didn't even realize it. I'm a, I am the dreadful dragon of destruction. I wreak chaos and devour the hearts of my foes. I am the dark knight of your futile hopes. And I am not tiny at all. I just use my magic to become smaller and more agile. Yep. Whew. My scare away the demon speech is hard. I need to keep practicing. <laughs> I love it. All right, you've grown up a bit. Yep. The dragon looks incredibly proud of herself. Dragons usually grow as they get older, but I grow as your power increases, so don't be fooled. Remember, I'm still a kid. A huge, scaly, flying kid with planar magic at her disposal. <laughs> yeah, that, that kid be be that scary. Ah, that's so cool. Uh, let's actually back. talk to our companions. Uh, hi, Land. Hello, Chief. How do you like a new title? Land looks at you sullenly. If I just scream ah for five minutes and rip all the hair out on my body, will that count as an answer for the question? I've always been a loner. As much as anyone can be. And a tribe. Sure, I was never left out of any birthday parties, but... Only out of courtesy. I got used to caring only about myself, but now I have the entire tribe in my responsibility and I'm expected to feed them? Teach them? Heal them? Settle their disputes? Sometimes I feel like I'm going insane and I can't do anything right. And sometimes I take a breath, look around, and everything seems to be working. No one died. No one's crying or eating dirt. Which means I've done all right. But look. Who am I talking to? You understand it just as well as I do. What's it like being a commander? Um, I was the commander, but I was fired, so... If I just scream, ah, for ten minutes, will that count as an answer? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Alright, let's pick up a time and we'll scream together. I think we'll both need it. I I don't want to delve too much into his background. Well, okay, maybe I will. How do you feel about the rec rec reconciling with your mom? Lance scratches his head pensively. It's weird. I feel like... I, I think I feel happy about it, but I also feel like the rug's been pulled out from under me, you know? I never even admitted to myself that I was angry at her. I didn't I didn't let myself even consider it. It took I took all my anger out on myself on demons. And still it was like I was carrying around a huge boulder and now that that weight's gone, I don't know how to live without it. She went back to Nasorian, but she gave me her address. It's strange to think that I can write to her. Tell her what's on my mind. Ask 
her for advice. I was so used to her not being around to the idea that she's gone forever, and now I have to get used to her being in my life. Lan smiles. Thank you, Kiari, for not letting me off the hook. I was mad. I'd have sooner run into the wound and hung a demon than gone to see her. And hugged a demon than gone to see her. But it turned out you were right. Thank you. I don't know what the situation is with your parents, but if you get the chance to hug your mom, do it. I actually know quite a few people who have given that advice. Um, I'm actually going to leave those subjects away. How about Arshale? How's Arshale doing? Obviously, she's she's one of her and Ember are, are Ember is like like a kid. I, I I can't. She's like a sweetheart. Just she looks through the eyes of everything in a simplistic, innocent manner, and half of the time, she's right. Like if you remove the complications and the dust and debris off of crap, what she says is pretty damn accurate. And it's kind of refreshing. I like it. And Ashle is... She's trying so hard. I can't help but kind of like be the cheerleader on the side. And I want her to succeed. There's no questions in there that I really want to touch. Because I got a good feeling they're sad subjects. Okay. And I feel bad. I did skip uh, Nanoween's... Uh, Nenui, Nenu, Nenuo's uh, speech of friends and stuff because she tried to sleep with me if you guys were skipping through that as well as I was That's easy. Um, Regal <sighs> Regal doesn't have anything and I'm actually happy I don't want to have a reason to hate him because let's be honest Regal is actually uh, he's evil but the lawful evil he is, is kind of cool. He, he's only Always been able to piss me off a few times, nothing major. And for the most part, he's actually done his job to the T. If I say don't do something, he doesn't do it. If I say I need something, he'll take care of it. That's the type of person you need on your team. All right, uh, before I do that, I'm gonna actually, we're going inside. So the rest of our members have actually set up camp inside this hellhole, I guess. Careful now. We are not That's we haven't done anything down here. And I'm thinking maybe we can. My only concern with being here is actually Technically, we should be Precisely. receiving a uh, corruption for being in the abyss. I would hope we're not, but you get it. Woodruff, nothing special. Rayor. Here it gives you a, a sly smile <coughs> as he lights his pipe. The excited glint in his eyes betrays his in impatience to share some news with you. Finally, he can contain himself no longer. Yesterday news has reached my ears, Gyari. There has been talk among more d disputable citizens of Alushria that someone is hiring the most vicious thugs and cutthroats to kill a certain Willowdus. A familiar name, isn't it? I strongly suspect that this is the same Willowdus who set me up during the assassination of Darzand. I'd call that a ferocious coincidence. How do you maintain this information? Grabo sounds offended. I'm an assassin. If I didn't know how to obtain rumors, I'd be out of work. I visit a few taverns, including a place called Bad Luck. It's a real cesspool. The information flows into it 
from all over the city. I was approached by someone who was looking for thugs to hire. He was the one who told me everything. I would have found out more if I had talked to him longer, but after he called me a bloody larva, larva he needed the dentist, and I didn't, and I needed a new mug of beer. <laughs> oh, I, uh, uh, great, Grey Boar is pure neutral, and he's amazing. Now, what do you suggest? I'll be damned if I let a bunch of incompetent thugs get to him before me. No, first I must have a little chat with Windows, and then they can do whatever they want with him. How about we leave those helpless goons in the dust and visit Window S Ma Mansion first? Sounds like an exciting challenge, doesn't it? All right, let's play Window S a visit. Excellent. I think the conversation will involve some good old fashioned violence. Ooh. Always watch your back. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. Whew. All right, Ember. Nothing new with Ember. Uh, Solace and Darren. Okay, I gave Darren wings. I know I gave Darren wings. But man, he just doesn't look right with wings. Pretty sure he's not okay with it either. Wait a minute. Now that I think about it, with all the spells at my disposal, I have wizard spells, I have, I have both arcane and divine in multiple classes, I've not seen one person have the fly spell. Granted, video game, I get it. But there's a lot of spells that, I, that are really standard that I haven't, I haven't seen. Now let's talk to the hand. That. Huh. Mahanga warned me about the danger that closed portals pose. Before we move on, we need to take care of that. I'm not well versed in such matters, but perhaps we should set up a trap for the demons near the dormant gates in case they attempt to activate those portals again. It's your next step. In Asheria, Alushria, in Alushria, there is no one as powerful as Shamara, the right hand of Nocturla herself. It is she who rules the city where her in inscrutable mistress is away. As sad as it is for me to admit, we must try again. Her favor, try gain her favor if we want Alushria to take us seriously. All right, how well known am I? No one in Alushria knows your name yet. Tell me honestly, what do you think of the one you call Champion of Glorian? I would be lying if I told you that I don't observe you with some trepidation. Sometimes I wonder what will happen if you falter. For power and responsibility presents the most difficult trial of, the, of all. The many righteous souls have failed in the past. I have a question about our mission. Ask away. Um, I'm just going to flip through these. I don't care. Tell me about Nectura. I see you have blessed the rocks in the cavern. This is actually important. Indeed, I have. If even on Galorian, the abyss harmful influence can unsettle mortals and disturb their rest, what then can be said of the abyss itself, the very heart of pain and sin? But worry not, champion. By the power granted in Iomade, Am 
I have consecrated these dark caves. You can find Repsit here and recover your strength should the need arise. Perfect. That explains why I'm not getting corruption. Um, I don't worry about it. I want to stop you off. Can you heal me? Let the flow of life pour into you and all of this other That's stuff. Easy. Cool. Okay. Um. Yes, that's the party I want. With the mythic levels that I got and the power that I got, I actually have a, quite a few ideas of how I'm going to change up the methodology of how I'm going to approach things. Damn, I should have used the portal. Precisely. This... This must be the secret path to the port. Yep. Okay. So, this is really weird. Always watch your back. I've yet to understand the makeup of this city. Things to see in Lushria. Cool. Bad Luck Tavern. Oh, that's the. Okay. Oh, hello. Finished here. Is there more? What is that? Soul Hunter. Why? All right, let's go to the Bad Luck Tavern. This should be the upstairs of the Bad Luck Tavern, right? Oh no. Oh, there's two entrances. I see. Well, this place really doesn't make sense. On all intents purposes. And that's a third way outside. Okay. Odd. Not gonna lie. I'm not used to that yet. I'm going to go out here, because this is still near the beginning, and we are going to go up this. I'm the best. That's easy. Ouch. All right, guys. That's enough. I get it. I won't. It won't happen again. Ah, stop my eyes. Not my eyes. Move your hand, scum. Or we'll break the other one, too. I said, move it. A group of demons, laughing with glee, is kicking a shiny, a skinny babu curled up on the ground. Not your eyes? Fine, then. Your belly. Have some of this. What are you doing? You're hurting him. Ember dashes toward the demon laid out on the ground, shielding him from the blows. Stop. Why are you doing this to him? Huh? Who's that? Demon. The demons goggle at the girl. I, I'm i just a mortal, weak and silly. Compared to you, I am a mayfly. One moment I'm here, the next I'm gone. But you better listen to what I tell you, because I've lived more than you have. <laughs> I love number one. Ember, are you going to preach to demons? Ember, you're, you're only a hundred years old. By demon standards, you were born yesterday. How could you have lived? 
Amber, don't em emba embarrass yourself. Let's go. I actually like one. Listen to her carefully. This might be the most important thing you hear your entire lives. Yeah, right. We've always dreamed of listening to what a ch charred piece of meat has to say. You said what about my Amber? Demons draw close to the girl and look her over with contempt. What's with all the riddles? What do you mean you've lived l more than us? It's very simple. I haven't lived very long, but I have friends. Those I can protect. Those who are glad to see me. There are many sad things, but I still know what, ha what happiness is. But you? Beating, biting, fearing, hating each other? Are you really happy? And if you aren't, is this any kind is this any kind of life? So yeah, I've lived a lot. But you've spent centuries and centuries without really living. See, I told you. Keep it simple. And there's some real hard truth to it. Bah! This moral brat, this lump of meat is going to preach to us? The demon gives a predatory sniff bends down and shows off his mouth filled with sharp teeth you know what makes me happy gobbling up tasty pieces of meat like you all right demon you touch her and i will end your life amber looks at him sincerely she reaches out and strokes his horned head with her burnt palm poor thing you are so hurt and scared all the time. You feel a bit better for a while when you torture others and forget about your suffering. But is that, that really happiness? The demon recoils to her touch. There's a combination of surprise and terror on his fearsome face. Are you crazy or something? The demons stand around Ember. Their faces show caution it replaces it and replaces interest it is clear that they are slightly afraid of the strange girl who shows no fear but at the same time they see no obvious threat good amber is a demon amber this demon is wounded words are well are all well and good but let's help him lawful i warn you this girl is under my protection if anyone so much as touches her there won't be leaving here for <laughs> in peace. Evil. Pay no attention to her. Just walk on by. She's just a foolish girl. No. Get on your hand. Get your hands off of her, you beast. No. Unfortunately, there's no option I really want. I'm gonna have to go with good. Oh, you're right. How embarrassing. There. Amber whispers a spell, and the demon's wounds heal. You performed an action of good. The Babu jumps up and runs away from Ember and the demon who's were for beating him. Screw you. I owe you nothing. Of course you don't, Ember smiles sincerely. I helped you for no reason, just because I wanted to. I hope you'll be alright. Ha. Uh, for no reason? Are you stupid? No one does anything without a reason. She's a witch. She actually is a witch. Uh, like, the class witch. Probably wants it to sell us or sell us something. Some magic potions, herbs. Come on, show us what you have. What? No, I'm not selling anything. I just wanted to tell you how much you're missing. I mean, you're free, freer than anyone in the world. But you use this freedom to make life miserable for yourselves and everyone else. Just think, how much happier you could be. Amber keeps preaching. The demons listen, occasionally interrupting with laughter and obscene jokes. Finally, they grow bored and walk away. They had left. Do they really... Th do you think they understood anything? If anyone in the world can convince a demon to repent, it's you. I agree. Who knows? Even I'm intrigued to see how it turns out. I also agree with the chaotic, but I, I agree with the good right there. Thank you. But it's not about me. 
There is kindness in every creature, even demons. They just forgot about it. For some reason. You know, I was thinking. I tried sending prayers to the demon lords, and I tried talking to demons in the streets. But one of the demon lords lives right here in the city. Noctura, right? What if I try to talk to her? N not through prayer, but in person. Remember, I'm able to protect you in a lot of scenarios. But I'm, I'm going to be straight blood with you. I want you to be able to achieve that dream, but you have to tread lightly because I think that is the one thing I could not protect you from. A demon lord is that on par of a powerful god, and I, by all means, am not that powerful. I'm getting there, though. I'm getting there. You're going to meet her sooner or later, aren't you? Please take me with you. I'm sure we'll meet face to face like you and I are talking right now. I'll be able to convince her to stop being so mean. You'll take me. You'll take me to her, promise? And it's a quest. Oh god, she's gonna die. Precisely. Guard. These guards. What are they? Oh, you're not going to show me what they are? Damn. Always watch your back. Oh, that's what that noise was. That's a terrifying thing to know about. Bad Luck Tavern. There's the other entrance. Is there a trap? Okay, before we go any further, I'm actually going to go back and check out this. Careful now. Lower religion check, huh? It went splendidly. The symbols inscribed on the wall belong to the language of Titans, the first creations of the gods, and and themselves the creators of the sinister demo dance. Damn. Okay. That's Climb easy. to the rooftop. A fruitless endeavor. Oh. Who's doing the athletics? You are? Athletics. I see why you failed. Um... There is an item, but I think I accidentally kept it on land. There's also other spells that I could probably use to actually increase his athletic score here. Does he have a skill focus of athletics? Character... So athletics is his primary. I got everything else taken care of. What is his abilities? Feats. Skill focus, skill focus, skill focus. He is not skill focus, athletics. I need to fix that. I will fix that. I got request. I'm glad I was useful to you. What's that? 
Librarian's Cloak. This cloak grants the wearer plus 10 competent bows on... on use magic device skill checks. It also increases the effectiveness of the effective caster level by four when using scrolls. That's nice. I, 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 I hate using scrolls though. It looks like these rooftops are used to bypass. A lot of stuff that I can't read. Bypass the guards and get to the streets above. You know, I'm not too concerned about that yet. I finished here. Is there more? I'm wondering if I can use teleportation spells. It looks like I'll have to go through that at some point. There's probably other ways around, but we are trying to get through the slums right now, so let's let's do that first. Did I hear another? Uh... Intoxicated demons leader I have a gut feeling we're gonna have a run in right here I will defend my dream you said what to me that's some Heady dope and no mistake. I feel like I could rip the head off anyone. Hey you, outsider. How about I rip your head off? Alright. Let's see. I saw this. You're irrelevant. Okay, I actually have been wanting to do this. What did he do? Holy shit. Graybore uses charge. Graybore fails to dispel the heroism on the intoxicated demon. Okay. Fails to dispel the bark skin. Okay. Graybore attacks the intoxicated demon's leader with Dwarven War X plus three. It's a critical hit and sneak attack. Glabor deals 126 damage to the intoxicated demon leader. Glabor deals 57 damage to the intoxicated demon. Glabor deals 10 damage. So I did 5, 6, 7, 8, 193 points of damage in one hit. I am so glad I beefed him the way Surrender. I did. That is Who awesome. Else? I just one hit the demon leader. The Okay, that it? Hmm? Anyone else? No? Good. That was cool. A success worthy of praise. The signs on the wall indicate that a drug merchant can be found here in the abyss. There are many poisons that can plunge mortals and even demons into nightmares. You know, I'm actually shocked. Damn. That looked tavern. Experiencing the bliss. Guess we'll have to figure that one out. That's awful. Battle Bliss Arena. Oh, yeah.
We will do that. Rumor has it that you convinced Mahigo to betray Baphomet, and now she's plotting against her former allies. You're a cunny one, aren't you? The guard takes a close look at Arshale and flashes an interested grin. Your face is familiar. Have we met before? Suddenly, recognition draws on him. Arshale, is that you? They said you defected to the Crusaders, but I always said a rabid bitch like you would never deal with goody goody mortal scum welcome home a luxury uh, missed you and your wild escapades Ashley purses her lips and turns away not dignating an answer her face grows deeply pale and there is despair in her eyes I want to go through the demon sucks his teeth and replies. His voice tingles with lazy mess. No can do. This quarter is where decent people live. When they want to dismember someone, they can go down to the lower city. They're standing here, so... This... <coughs> We're standing here. So they won't be bothered by Riftraff that wants to dismember them. Believe me, you don't want to go there. The slave traders have magic collars that fasten themselves around the necks of chancers such as yourself and drag them straight into cages. Out of my way, scum. The demon seems to have shrunk and lost most of his bluster. I, I don't care what Nartaz says. I'd rather live to see another day. Come on. Hurry on through while I ha- Well, it just happens to look the other way. Glad you know your place. Precisely. It's kind of funny. I- Part of me wants to make a name for myself by using, Hey, I'm the commander. Another part of me is like, I want to make a name for myself by a different reputation here to keep those personas separate. I, I, I hope that makes sense to you guys. A thousand gold coins. I can't afford it. I, I just don't care. Okay. Always watch your back. Um, let's go outside here. Actually did cut across most of the city. Not bad. So we got the Balblis there. Got a portal there. There's a couple of things of loot on top of the city I just can't get to. I tried. I'm looking into it. Um, we do want to go to the docks though. get to the docks, I need to go here. I'm playing the guessing game without looking. 
about how to get down. I don't know how to get the loot up here. That's easy. Can I dimension door? I do things my way. Someone. I'm always open to ideas. Trust in yourself. Magic is extend cure. I think I got rid of the elevates because if I need it, I, I could why. use. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get to those. I, I need a teleportation spell to do it. I'm gonna check inventory real quick. Um, meta magic, meta magic. Book. Hey. Manual of Quickness of Action. This thick tome contains tips on coordinating exercises and balance, but entwined within the words is a powerful magical effect. If anyone reads this book, she permanently gains plus two inherent bonus to her dex score. Once this book is read, the magic disappears. Yeah, damn. Exactly who's gonna get that. Dex of thirty. Nice. Oh yeah, that's right. Forgot about this. Glamour grants the owner three slots for a first level spell, second two spots for second level spell, two slots for third level spells, where a spellcaster class is the highest cast level. Yeah. Um And then what are these? Kiermod. Kiermod. Dimension door! You know what? I'm gonna have my character do dimension door. I thought I seriously got rid of that damn thing. Have Let's see if I can do this. This is only a theory. door does Always not work. Sadly. I might keep it on her just in case, though. There's a couple other places around here that intrigue me. Alright, to the port. <coughs> now, the port is not the upper level. We do have a hidden way into the upper level, and we also intimidated so we can go through the front gate. Probably go through the front gate. Lucky this guard. Being marksman, slave. Abu warrior. Dretches. Even if they're non aggro to me right now, I hate dretches. Bizzle Huntress. That's easy. Oh, that ship looks familiar.
Ambient. Keep moving, ain't nothing to do. Okay. Cool. Chaplain. I don't see my merchandise. Why not buy something? Show me what magic equipment you have. I'm gonna sell my junk to you. Damn. This guy has a lot. Oh, bag of holdings. Oh, it's a deal. It is such a deal, you have no idea. Oh, oh yeah. What do you have? Well, for one, you had enough bagel holdings that I'm good for the rest of my, oh my God. What? Some of these items are nuts. What do I have for my characters? I'm blown away by what this guy has. I'm hoping that he has, like, gloves and all that, too. No. Pacers of Armor plus seven. Damn. Okay, I don't know where to begin of intelligence. Plus six. I already got a plus six. Let's let's search. And I bet I'm vast intelligence. Intelligence bonus is the same type you usually don't stack. Wisdom. Okay. That's that you already got plus six. I'm actually shocked. I I'm being very picky with this. Strength. Belt of physical flow plus six. Strength index. Not a bad idea. She would hit better. I know that's a lot of money. Why? Why? Don't do that ever again. Always watch your back. Inventory. Actually, I'm thinking of changing that uh, hotkey. Uh, it's burned me a couple times already. Oh, thank God. That is gonna help her so much. She is actually in the positive for strength. Finally. I'm still in shock for what I, I got here. Cloak. Cloak of resistance plus six. Wow. Whenever this hat slays an enemy, they get a plus two bonus on attack rolls for 
three rounds, multiple applications of this stack. Okay. Protection plus three. Your protection plus six. You know, if, if we're gonna increase someone's armor. Oh, I can look at everyone. That that's bad. If we're gonna increase someone's armor, we should look at the actual tank. Our the tau two she is currently using as a plus three. I'm actually going to keep that tower shield. I like that one. Longsword. Plus five longsword. You can't get better than that. I still, I still have a better one though. That's good. Um... Boots. Arm. Belt of Mighty Constitution 6. Physical Form 6. Physical Might 6. Strength and Constitution plus 6. Yes. At. Amulet of Natural Armor 6. I know I'm breaking my bank. I know it. I know it. I don't care. Yes. Yes. She needs another ring, though. Like, I really need to get a good ring for her. AC of 47. That's an epic level AC. There's nothing really special in here. I mean, nothing that I'd really care about. All of it's typically in the rings and stuff right now. Um, so everything is good on her end. I actually think she's decked. Especially with those buffs. Whenever the wearer of this headband of charisma plus four deals damage through a spell on one or more enemy, she deals ten she gets ten temporary hit points for three rounds. I'm okay with this. Whatever the wearer the Alex uses a hex. Do you see Sither? Meh. Amulet. Let's look at a better belt. I like the plus six dex and con. Okay. 
I also want to mine a hat of charisma. You know what? It's not worth the extra plus two. What about your rings? What rings do you have? Ring. Protection plus six. Yeah, I could. You actually wearing something that is very interesting to me, but no. We're, gonna, we're just going to give you the belt. She could use some gloves and some boots, but he doesn't have any, unfortunately. What do you have? Strength and dex. That's a belt. Strength and dex plus six. protection. Um, hmm. I actually think that's pretty good. Let's do that. My money is really dropping quick. This is the first time I actually found a salesman I actually had something worthwhile though. I think I'm almost done. Ashley. It's kind of hard. I don't like that ring. I could give her that. Yeah, we could give her a better belt. Strength and con. Six bonus on dex. Um, natural armor. Okay. So that goes there. Dex plus six. God, that's amazing, Dex. Ring of protection plus two grants a plus three constant bonus on touch deck. Eh. Let me verify and make sure I got everything correct. What about my main character? I'm actually starting to not care about this song, Fast Healing 2. Yeah. I really should get myself some charisma. Because I'm a charisma caster. belt. Giant strength plus six. Actually, yep. I think I just broke my bank. Close. Very close. Um, 
Um, I think we're good. I I am so happy with that. Private spellcaster. Pirate spellcaster. Banner cleric. Actually, let's talk to the chapel again. What about his regular wares? You have any... You do have scrolls. Interesting. Let me glance. I already have all the scrolls. Not worried about it. Uh, but I am curious about... Potions. Do you got any good potions? No. That's sad. Oh well. Careful now. I know this ship. There you are. It's truly inspired. It was a truly inspired idea to invite you on the voyage. How long? Oh, how I long to retake what was lost. Are you ready for a new voyage? Then off we go. The shade within the chain says, he, are you the imposter? And why do you listen to a rambling and helpless shade? It's nonsense. It's unworthy of your ears. Who are you? What can you tell me about the nav? No. What sort of treasure are you looking for? There's a horrific shadow beyond the way. I have to go. So, we're not going yet? Tell me about yourself. I need help with the cleric. Tell me what magic items you have. Show me the potions and scrolls you have. There we go. Wish I would have known that sooner. <clears throat> you know, I made my money on these voyages. Whoa. Food? It's a recipes. It's so cool. I might actually buy all of his ingredients. It depends on how much money it'll cost. I'm actually surprised that it's showing me that I already know all of these, which is cool. Um, let's go here. Yeah, okay. Tenderloin. We'll buy a couple of those. Um, ingredients. a lot of ingredients. Okay, we're going to take them out slowly. Scribe scrolls, goodbye. Scribe scrolls, goodbye. Scribe, 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 scribe. 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 I don't need the scribe scroll ones. Hook. 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 
fuck. Actually purify food. I actually don't need too many of those. The rest of these are cooking ingredients, but it'll destroy my uh, income. Brew potion, scrap scrolls. And the rest is cooked. Okay. So this is all the cooking ingredients. It'll take up the rest, like, half of my, my cells. But at the same time, I wouldn't have to worry about cooking anymore because I'm running out of ingredients. Wait. I'm not worried about it anyways. Now think about it. You know, I'm gonna keep these, just in case. I know it's kind of, it's almost a waste, but eh. Precisely. Yeah, how come this guy does not allow me onto the ship? Oh, go aboard, that's why. We, uh, that isn't actually the expansion. We're not going to do it yet. Um, with all the money I just spent, it would be within my interest to actually go up and do that. Um, but that is it for this area. All that's left is going up top. Right? No, actually, the arena. We could do the arena. Battle Bliss, or whatever it's called. I don't know who this person is. To the Rodden Guttery.
Apparently I can't even talk to him. At least yet. Oh, he's that weirdo that... Okay, I remember. Time to go to Battle Bliss. I always use the maps to get around like this, and I'm starting to think I'm unable to do it now. guys. Bell time. How cruel am I supposed to be? Careful now. I finished here. Is there more? That's easy. A handsome young man with tousling black hair strolls casually toward the demon surgeon. Oh, master of stitches, artist of scalpels, and genius of surgical perfection, tell me, is your heart free? The young man has a glove puppet on his hand, a dragon made of rags with buttons for eyes. He raises up an... He raises up and begins to ventriloquize loudly. His voice is surprisingly deep. Also, do you have an hour of free time tonight? How about a romantic dinner? I'm going to watch in silence. No, and I, I would not say that my heart is free right now. It contains three copper rods, 200 grams of enchanted quicksilver, and a fair dose of Lamia liver extract. He pauses and gives the young man a appraising glance. But I could give you an hour or two of my time for something other than dinner. Has anyone ever told you have beautiful, smooth skin? I happen to be in need of some. The young man definitely steps aside to avoid the demon's outstretched claws. He jolt, drops something down in his notebook. Precisely. A demon in blood splattered apron fusily shoves a few foul looking chunks of flesh into his apron pockets. His fingers are fitting with horrible steel claw and you hear an unpleasant sound of metal on metal as he slides them against one another like scissors. He looks up in your direction with an insane grin and his voice makes your skin crawl. Are you the one of the gladiators? Do you need a healer? Or are you here because you want to become more powerful? The demon glances briefly at Ashley. I remember you. You used to fight here, always demanding that I restore your skin to its original smooth, unblemished state. And you always tried to get a discount or ran away without pain. Well, it looks to me like you have an entirely new face. It's an almost perfect replica of your old one. But something has changed. 
something imperceptible. Who performed such a suitable artistry on you? How much did he pay? Ashley glances at you with an energetic smile, an enigmatic smile. I really have changed, Stitcher. You cannot begin to fathom the price I've had to pay for the transformation, but it happened without the help of a scalpel. Who are you? I'm the most important person in the battle bliss. I'm a healer, or they call me a stitcher. They drag those poor bleeding fools from the arena so I could stitch them back together piece by piece. And I do mean that quite literally. Since most of them are in pieces by the time they get to me. At first, I simply re react, reattach the severed limbs of wound fighters. Now, however, my methods are far more interesting. Some of Nocturo's inner circles taught me the secret of grafting flesh by combining the flesh of different gladiators. I create the strongest, craftiest, most talented fighters. Oh, yes. In these chambers, invincible gladiators are born. I am so close to achieving perfection. Soon, my methods will produce better results than Nahandria crystals. Nahandria crystals? Nahandria crystals are something of a legend here. Yeah, we know about them. Can you make me stronger? Asha gives you a worried glance. Please, don't do that. By joining your flesh with the flesh of a creature from the abyss, it allows the corruption to taint you. No deal. I already knew that. Make Neniel stronger. I'm not going to do that either. I have to go. I, I don't, I don't want to talk to him anymore. Is that go? What the hell is that? Welcome to the Battle Bliss Arena. My name is Zekel. I'm the arena steward. Imagareth is the manager of the arena, but I help him manage the affairs. You look like you're new here. Did you come to spectate the fight or participate in them? The tiefling has surprisingly open and honest face. After all, these demons are looking for, you know, you know, look strangely normal. The tiefling looks you up and down with the calm professionalism of a person doing the unpleasant job with diligence. You wield both blade and magic, a classic approach of, for the arena. Most of our gladiators do the same to a greater or lesser extent. The broader your arsenal, the lower chance you'll face an insurmountable op opponent. Irmagrauth? I remember a demon called Irmagrauth. He was a vile, cunning murderer. He had a way with words that was just deadly as his skill in battle. There is rustling sound within the, the tiefling's bag, and an imp peeks his head out to look at you. He has large, drooping ears and stares at you with his huge, unblinking eyes. Then, as if suddenly shy, he darts back into the bag and vanishes from sight. I have to go. We'll be back. Always watch your back. Oh, can't come up. I thought I could go upstairs. All right, guys, let's uh, get myself in trouble, shall we? Like to talk to Aaron McGuff. The imp pokes his head out of the bag in surprise. You seem to have ar aroused his curiosity. He said, "He said." Dropping ears perk up with excitement, and he stares at you with a big, round eyes. You wish to speak to Ermagraf? I'm afraid that's impossible. Ermagraf never communicates with anyone except his most trusted aides. And Gerdafang is under strict orders to kill anyone who tries to talk to his master without permission. Ermagraf believes that minimizing his contact with the outside world will make the audience in the arena want him even more. 
Uh, I'd like to know more about you. I have no more questions. Actually, I'm just going to go through them. I, I don't want to know more about him. Is Odyssey an imp of an infernal creature here in the abyss? The fundamental chaotic energy of this place must re be repugnant to a creature born on the plane of order and evil. Europe is an infernal creature. How does it manage to survive in the abyss? Diana looks at you with respect. It is nice to meet a person who knows the difference between an imp and a closet. Yes, Crow is a devil, though a lesser one. I have no idea how he ended up here, but at the time we met, he was extremely unwell. Staying in the abyss is not much easier for him than staying underwater would be for a mortal. That's how I spent the first real money I managed to earn here on this fine stolen to order bag. It, it had magic symbols sewed inside that makes its interior bearable for Kyo. Cool. No more questions about him. I'd like to know about Battle Bliss. What would you like to know? The arena operations are simple. It functions like a pyramid. The Spectres are the lowest level. Regular gliders are on the next tier, followed by the members of the Nahindra League, the champion towards the above them all, and the matters of the arena stand at shoulder length with, ominous, with an omnipotent, omnipotent god. Tell me what happens in the arena. The Battle Bliss is a gladiatorial arena. You must understand, fights are a big deal in, in Lushria. They are a city of pyramid source of gossip and entertainment, but they are much more than that. The gladiatorial matches serve as a kind of ritual, a daily offering to the demonic way of life. And these daily offerings, these rituals, are performed in Battle Bliss. In a way, it's more of a temple than an arena. The arena is only reason in this city still standing. Without the Battle Bliss, the demons would, would have brought Alushria to ruin long ago. But instead of tearing down the city with their rage and their desire of slaughter, they come here to quench their thirst for blood. You see, the arena gives them a sort of release. It allows them to sate their lust and violence. He runs the place. His name is Ishimarga. He's a combion. He was born in the abyss, the offspring of an incubus and a mortal woman. Incubi are naturally impersive, but Irmagrath's father was especially skilled at using his words to manipulate and control. Well, his son inherited the silver tongue. His ability to influence the crowd is unmatched. With just the sound of his voice, he can instantly instigate a riot, making a screaming group of demons fall silent and listen to his every word. When he warms up the audience, the spectators are ready to jump into the arena and fight the gladiators themselves. Who's the strongest fighter in the arena? The champion of the tile is currently held by the incubus named Guardfang. He's the deadliest of Ershagoth's fighters and serves the, as his bodyguard. I always enjoy the challenge. If this champion is as good as you say he is, I hope the chance to fight him. Tech. Now it's your turn to be gladiator. I want all of Alushia to know my name. I want you to arrange a match. I'm, I'm going to do that as soon as I uh, save one more time because I don't want to go through all that dialogue again. The tiefling falls silent. He looks as though he is calculating something in his head. Finally, he responds. If that's truly your goal, you'll have to defeat the current champion. If you kill Girlfang... Your name will be on everyone's lips, but you'll have to prove yourself if you want to face the champion. A fight with Garfang is a big deal here in Alushria, and only members of Nahira League, the elite gladiators of the Battle Bliss, are considered worthy opponents. Killing others just to entertain spectators, these creatures of the Abyss sow death and destruction in such careless, casual manner. Chilograms, I know that our mission is important, and I know we can't allow ourselves to get distracted by feelings and emotions, but smashing skulls and 
eviscerating bodies just to entertain these evil creatures? Oh, day. It makes me sick to think about it. Assassin, uh, the assassin shrugs. We kill demons all the time. We smash their skulls and rip out their guts. Why is this any different? If you don't want to kill demons for the entertainment of others, then do it because you enjoy it. I take pride in my skill, and I like to think that I've helped others, but I kill to protect the innocent, not because I take joy in murder. Only a couple of masochists would choose to live their lives doing something they utterly despise. I'm not sure why you would go on a dangerous adventure and fight in gruesome battles if you didn't enjoy it at least a little bit. However, if it makes you feel better, just remember that you are protecting future victims. The demons you kill will never hurt anyone ever again. But, but it is extremely difficult to join the League. You have to slay an active member and take their place. So if you wish to fight a champion, you'll have to spend a lot of time in the arena. However, if you would like to arrange a fight between you and another newcomer, if you can prove yourself in battle, I will be able to find you a match against a more reputable opponent. Very well, I'll prove myself. I'll fight a newcomer. The tiefling nods respectfully. I'm glad we've reached an understanding. I am fully buffed, looks like. I'm surprised the bull strength isn't showing here. It's fine, I'll, I'll get around it, but... Eh, whatever. I'm ready to find the arena. You're in luck. For the past couple of days, Aaron McGrath has been obsessed with recruiting new talent. He wants to introduce a promising new fighter into the arena. I think you could pay, play the part perfectly. Irmagrath may even give you a chance to earn a place in the Nahadrian League. However, if you do become a candidate for membership, be careful. You'll likely be matched up against a very dangerous opponent. I'm ready. I'm ready to enter. I wish you good luck. If you die, great death with this. If you die, greet death with a sweet kiss. Better still, slay all of your opponents and return alive as victorious. He sounds like it's someone who would be depressing. That's why I, I, I talk like that with him. What is this? The fire is nobody is nowhere, but survives. You worship the ground and walks on. Brr, 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 brr. Announcer be damned. Today we have a dubious honor of welcoming in the arena. Chiari of Galorian. Let's see the... The moniker she earns herself if she lives that long. Okay. And who will be standing against her? Well, they may be small, but they are far from harmless. If you underestimate them, they'll bite your family jewels off. An out sized amount of spite wrapped up in a tiny ugly package it's smuggles wild gang of misfits i bite your nose off you galorian scum and i'm wild and terrible smuggob terrible before treble before me why why am i not surprised we'll soon know which of these two titans emerge victorious fighters commence battle round one Fight. Okay. Ask for it. You called. Prepare yourself. Yes, my luck. I refuse to accept their statement. Desna, guide my hand.
What just happened? We have a winner. All hail the glorious fighters. She emerged triumphant in this dangerous, violent conflict. She decorated the arena with Mephit's guts. Give it up for Kiari, the Mephit Slayer. Oh, that's what happened. I was up against Meph. I buffed for Mephits. I buffed for Mephits. Hey, who knows? Maybe someday she'll get a chance to fight against a member of the Thorian League once they start accepting applications again. I, I'm sad. I just got done fighting Mephits. Really? Ugh. Okay, so because I screwed up, what we're going to do is, because uh, right outside the arena is the teleportation, we're going to teleport to the Angel, rest, then come back. Yeah, why not? I'll take it. I used to have many friends in the River City, but then all of them died. Now I have new friends. They aren't going to die, are they? No, Ember. We won't let any of our friends die. We studied healing magic for a reason, didn't we? That is awesome. Solace and... Ah. Oh. Okay, I'm telling you the truth. Solace is amazing. That's easy. I actually, if Ember was not in my party, I would have Solace in her place. Okay, tank. Yep. But I have a different one. Experiencing the bliss. I'm gonna I gotta I gotta look this up. Why is experiencing the bliss considered to be in the tavern? And how come I'm able to teleport from one but not here? Experiencing the bliss. Demand explanation from Zel Zeklix. Precisely. I almost want to just start killing the guards. Just to start a fight, but I'm not going to. Why is that beggar? Also, why did I have to fight a Mephit? Fighting a Mephit makes no sense. Where's Zekalix? Oh, I guess it is him. Okay. Is 
this your idea of a joke? Were you trying to humiliate me? Why did you put me up against such a ridiculous opponent? I'm not that stuck up. I don't care. I don't know about going Method Slayer. I changed my title. There is nothing I could do about it, I'm afraid. The crowd loves it. That's all that matters to Arrogath. Your main Method Slayer for as long as the audience finds it amusing. Well, I'm ready to enter the arena. I'm afraid you'll have to wait until I can find you a worthy opponent. However, you could use this time to assist me in a matter we spoke of earlier. Now that we're a perfect opportunity for you to do what I asked. What, what did he ask? Gain a lot of quests. Hey, I done that. The devil Always is watch watching me, and I'm very curious why. I'm surprised I'm, uh... Can I, can I get a crystal from this thing? that's going on, I guess I could go up. Yeah, I thought they were going to actually put me up against something important. No. They didn't. Finding your way around the Shnaria. In this strange abyssal realm, space itself sometimes behaves weird, unexpected ways. By turning your camera due north, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yep. We were told this already. That's easy. something Always watch your back I will not be trifled with. I will prove my worth. I don't know if she's going to be able to do it, but I'm, I'm curious. It's only a level four. 
Maybe. If I could do the dimension door mass that it was offered to her. As my character. I'm glad I was useful to you. Ace. That was cool. Dimension door for the win. I finished here. Is there more? Oh, this is okay. I see. I finished here. Is there more? Yeah, we're gonna just go down and then go back up around. I now understand why that was there. I think it was a waste, but I mean, whatever. I'm glad I was useful to you. I don't want to know what type of guards, the, what type of demons those guards are. Careful now. We did all of that already. This is not going to end well for you if you're trying to pick a fight with me. The demon looks frail and sickly, especially in comparison to the mighty entourage that surrounds him. His voice sounds dull and tired, but his demeanor is calm and self-assured. He clear he clearly believes himself to be a full and controlled situation, a mortal with mythic abilities. How fortunate that you have made your way to the abyss. Moreover, you have come to Alushria, which makes things even more convenient for me. Yes, what a stroke of luck. You see, I need you to be my test subject. You need me to be what? <laughs> so are you going to attack me or... Yes, let's get started, shall we? He turns around. Servants. You don't have to take this specimen alive. Just Time need the body. To wrap them up their treasures. All right. Let's see. Make your You're peace. Screwed. Any more, Cover me. See. Two people can play the whole haste game, guys. See? Oh. Oh, yeah. I know exactly what I'm doing. It doesn't work. How weird. Too late for apologies. The light. Take you. Okay. I will resist. That's educational. Perhaps too educational. Perhaps too educational. I must take my leave. He's not targetable now. Oh, great. Mind over muscle.
Simply business. I'll hit you. I just overpowered him. Echo of Draske. A monstrous shadow appears somewhere at the edge of the vision. It does not seem to be in a hurry to approach and keeps its distance at the beginning at, at, as it begins to see, speak. The shadow's voice is very strange. It is constantly shifting. One moment it sounds young and melodious and the next it rasps and rattles with age. However, despite the difference in, no, in notations, the voice has a stern, ominous quality that I heard your such. toy soldier crusaders had taken over the Midnight Vein and the rift located there. But I never thought you'd have the nerve to descend into the abyss. I assumed you'd block the underground passages, put guards out by the rubble, and sit there, shaking, waiting for someone to attack you again. And this would make... This is the first god I met. Level one. And this is the first time I actually get to talk to a god. I know that, fiend. Champion, this is the Echo of Discari, the avatar of our arch enemy. This is a mighty, cunning, and vengeful opponent. He cannot see or hear me, but he will pounce if he knows I am here. He hates everything <laughs> related to Iomade. Be cautious. Echo Draske, I know who you, you are. come from the land of Iomade's servants. And Iomade's servants know me, for I have killed many of them. Yep, and you have failed to kill me. So that's a thing. Put that in a check box of things you have failed. Which was, oh yeah, you also failed the crusade. Uh, to kill the crusades, I should say. And you lost resin. And at least two thirds of your army. Should I keep going? It may you surprise me? you, but nothing. You overestimate your importance, mortal. You probably think your victories in Dresden and the Midnight Fane have dealt us a fatal blow. Don't you? No. But my lord's Not hordes fatal. are endless, and there are other rifts in the wound that will serve our purpose when the hour comes. So no, I did not come here for you, mortal. So, after being defeated in Canadras, Dresden, and the Midnight Fane, you no longer think those places are significant. How convenient. Are you alright? The men of Fane and Dresden were inconsequential. Just wait till I get started with you. You are right. You don't want anything from me, why are you here? I was looking for Mutasafin. I need to speak with him. I stumbled upon you by accident. What a shame. The demon you're looking for ran away from me in a panic. I doubt even knows how to panic. You did not pose a real threat. He could not be killed through conventional methods. He left because there was nothing else for him to do here. Also, I'm sure he was in a hurry to explain to him, Samira, why he wasted a few demons on such a stupid escapade. She will not be happy about that. Oh no, she most certainly will not. You don't want to fight. Then you can go your way. I'll, I'll just go mine. Be gone. And hope we do not meet again. You will still perish in the abyss. But death by my hand will be far, far more painful than any other possible demise you might suffer here. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Yep. You know, why do, why, why do people like you always have big talk? You're God I'm afraid of. You I am not. You, well, demon lord, God. Close enough. The abyss is full of hideous creatures, but you have just met one of the worst. The echo of Draske is an old enemy of mine. He is both vile and cunning. I wish I could comprehend his dark machinations, but I do not understand why he has revealed himself to us in this way. It seems unlikely that he would come here just to gloat. The angel falls silent and lost in thought. Yeah, alright. How's it going? So, see this dead guy here? I'm taking his stuff. Cool? Cool. And you guys didn't do anything? Rumor has it you convinced Miago to betray Baphomet, and now she's plotting against her former allies. You're cunning one, aren't you? Want to go through? Hmm? Want to visit the rats us? Sure. Suit yourself. Yep. I. This is just stuff that doesn't matter. We already asked these questions to the guard down below. I don't want to add to it. Early sunset. He's here? He is. The, vis the vague outline of the apparition does not allow you to see the face and appearance of the speaker, but you recognize the vo voice without difficulty. It is your Azlata companion, early sunset, and his words radiate dismay. dismay. Chiari, I found you at long last. Even with my spell, it was not easy feet in the abyss. Where were you before you came here? Why were you looking for me? I bring you the latest news of Galorian. You will surely want to hear it, and I sincerely worried about you. The abyss is a dangerous place. It is far too easy to disappear there. How wonderful it is to see you. I'm not alone. How wonderful it is to see you. I'm not alone that some of your allies from the other planes are willing to rush to your aid. Early Sunset does not react to the angel's words. He either does not see the angel, or he does not consider it necessary to answer. Where were you before you came here? I have not yet arrived. I am on my way, at the edge of the abyss. I first wanted to contact you to make sure that you were still alive. I did not expect to find you in Alushria. It's a nasty place, and its ruler is more dangerous than most of the other demon lords. It goes without saying that you should be incredibly careful there. So, so I see. What now? I will soon arrive to meet you in person, forgive me, but I do not wish to appear within the walls of Lushria. I will go to the place of the former rift of the Midnight Fane, and I will wait for you there. When we meet, we will speak and exchange news. Good luck. My thoughts are with you. A success worthy of praise. Uh, flesh marks are one of the largest slave markets in the Abyss. Since the opening of the World Wound, it has been flooded with captives from Glorian. the flesh markets Oof. that's easy precisely your back T 
to the Grim Mansion. Resistance plus five. Nice. My dream. I finished here. Is there more? I can do this. Cool. And that will do it. Careful now. And we just braided a mansion, I guess. My worry is we are starting to get things that are pretty much max magical level and um, I don't know what happens after that. up. Always watch your back. Way from my path. I'm glad I was useful to you. Careful now. Oh. That's slightly concerning. Battle demon, dumb colonists. Oh, jeez, here we go. It's either us or them. Our game has to buy noises. This place has gone blah, 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 blah. You should have listened to reason. Oh, I mean, if you're that keen about me kicking your ass. Prepare yourself. You actually got a critical hit. Congratulations. Yep. Into right. the fray. Rayborn. It's your time to cease to exist. I'll loot your course. Nice. You're irrelevant. Guide my hand. 
Nice. Couple good things, right? Right. Oh, they killed the poor guy. I actually sat him by that. I sense something. That. Okay. That's easy. Hello. Precisely. this Azamars I, mean, I should be shocked but still it went splendidly the symbols inspired on the wall belong to the language of the Titans first creations of the gods and themselves Rears of the sinister and different demon lands. Oh, there's loot. There is no loot. Always watch your back. I beg you, kind lady, give me a moment of your time. A thin Azamar, good, good breeding, apparent in every line of his aristocratic face, addresses you. Greetings and welcome to this dismal place. My name is Latarvik, and I ask of your help. I beg you, show mercy, not toward me, but toward these young and, and innocent maidens. They are my wards. They were unfortunate enough to abduct, to be abducted by demons. Saranray herself bestowed a revelation upon me, which prompted me to settle here and aid my brethren, doomed to a dark and cruel fate. But my stomach is all but gone. I swear it. I need assistance now more than ever. The Azabar woman drifts out of the house, standing like silent shadow behind Lavatark. The faces of many of the women are covered in scars and their gazes are cold, as if numbed by suffering and despair. I have a few questions. I do not doubt this. You could hardly have expected to meet a member of the ra of my race in the abyss. Besides, the very nature of my calling, which is dictated by both autorism and companion compassion, must seem strange and unnatural in this place. I am used to questions, and I'll be gladly helping. Okay, how do you survive in this place? Uh, what are you doing here? What happened to your wards? What happened to your wards? They survived truly monstrous abuse. Okay. I have no more questions. Well, maybe assistance. Feeling enslaved as Mars has become my trade. You see, these women are former captives whom I saved from a monster's clutches, and I protect them to be to the best of my ability. But I've heard a new shipment of slaves is about to arrive in the flesh markets, and now there is nothing I can do to break their shackles. Please do it in my stead. Please buy their freedom and send the women here. I can send that you. I can tell that you're a traveler of means. A single act of kindness should be okay. Such a kind and generous soul is truly rare in the abyss. We ought to help him, champion. Do not. Don't not just to save the poor slave woman, but also strengthen his faith in the righteousness of the path he has chosen. 
I see. I have to go. Is Ron Ray's healing light? God, dear lady. That is so weird. Oh shit. This actually looks nice. I got a gut feeling this guy is not a nice guy. I got a gut feeling he's actually a slave trader himself. Careful now. And I'm just about to buy him some supplies. Labyrinth Mediterranean device here. Something is not right here. Precisely. This is an entire section of the city I didn't even know would be plausible. Like this is like Rubik's Cube. Yeah, this is like a Rubik's Cube. Floating in the air is not 
the byproduct of some crazed magic. It is the energies of chaos that imbue them with the bizarre properties that they are not even the most amazing thing that could be found in the abyss. I finished here. Is there more? I finished here. Is there more? so huge. That's easy. I think I just went to the slave markets. Rules of the Jackal. These gauntlets grant a profane vigor effect of plus two bonus on natural armor to, to all evil creatures summoned by the wear. Eh. I mean, can't do much with it, but okay. Slave trader. How's an air method doing here? I sense something. Welcome the slave trader. A grotesquely fat demon speaks to the demoness standing in front of him. His voice irritated yet slightly sophisticated sophisticated if you want to get these sweet asimars for the 10,000 delights cough up the 50,000 just look at how delicious they are these girls haven't yet been whipped your clients will be clamming for them and after they become too worn out they'll make a magnificent stew I'll give you 30 if you stop talking rubbish, Dialect. Or keep going and you can steer clear of my place of delights. You can pleasure yourself on your own, you fat chunk of rotten meat. Do you want to get on Shivero's bad side? Do you really want that? The Asimar slaves standing nearby try to avoid looking at the angry demoness. Even in their miserable position, they are retreating. They stain the mark of the inner purity and nobility inherited by their kind. Puffing himself up, the fat demon answers abruptly and angrily. 50,000 for these delights, innocent creatures, you shabby and worn out demoness can't hope to compete with. That is my final offer. Stay away from the 10,000 delights. You can have your own little mortal pleasure from now on. You greedy, horny piece of shit. The disgustingly flesh demon greets you with a wave. His arm enclosed in a roll after a roll of fat. Allow me to present my living wares. The finest household slaves to serve you and entertain you body and spirit. And they can sate even the most exquisite cravings. The demons accompanied his last claim and Vulpera's lips smack, looking pleased. Ooh, why are we arguing with her? She wanted to buy my beautiful Asimar concubines for, for her place of pleasure, the 10,000 delights. Unfortunately, her common sense and good taste couldn't compete with her greed. She offered me a, a plattery price next to nothing instead of a grateful pain, the full sum of those slaves, offering 30,000 for a group of innocent, pure Asmar slipped here in the utmost care. No one has laid a single finger on them. No one has taken a single bite out of them. It's simply a, a, outrageous. Tell me we have for sale. Just feast your eyes on them. The most exquisite pleasure slaves raised in the comfort of luxury and your service. They are well-trained, neat, docile, and stand ready to become ideal servants for your manner. All of them are young and healthy, in perfect state of ripeness. 
the demon bursts into a, a sickening cackle and then whispers to you confident, confidently, of course, we have made sure that their tender flesh meat is meets the expectations of even the most demanding government. They have no inkling of what awaits them, so you need not worry about the fear spoiling the meat. Make it tough and making it tough and bitter. Beautiful, authentic, and well-groomed young men and women of different races smile sweetly at you. Their cheerful looks aren't mirrored by the slightest hint of intelligence. These slaves remain, remind you of happy and well-fed sheep grazing in the pasture. The slaver eyes widen as he stares, starts to speak nearly hypervalent. Just recently, one of my slave hunting crews returned, bringing me the most beautiful girl, a group of young, fresh, pure Asmar girls, full of mortwalian innocence. All of them are beauties in their prime, caught with the utmost care, unwounded. Shamara will take an interest in them, I wager. Because of her organ, origin, she loves having her fun with Asmars. There are countless ways one can use such valuable acquisitions, though, if you ask me, the smartest ways are to treat yourself to a medium rare filet with, a, with rich, meaty gravy. The Asmar women look pale and scared, but even in captive, they manage to retain their dignity and refuse to let the demons savor their fear. As Dialect continues his nauseating ceremony, they raise their chins higher so that they do their best to maintain a cold, detached expression. What you get, you're gonna be eaten. About the Azimar slaves. Oh, I see your your consoor. I'd like to warn you that these little birds will cost you a pretty penny. Their price scarred off the madam of 10,000 delights, but for Shurma, to whom I indeed to sell these flesh Amazar beauties, 50,000 is spare change. I'm willing to sell them to you for the same price. If we do not intervene, these women will be doomed. Alright, deal. Fatima and Glow's happiness. You won't regret it in the abyss. Goods like these are rarity. If you wish the most exquisite and enjoyable for your purchase, if you wish to, you can give an excellent recipe to brazen shakes, just send one of your household slaves along to pick it up. The demon winks at you and looks at the Asimars with a play playable longing. The slaves stare at you with a mixture of hope, fear in their eyes. Their faces drain of color as they wait for your steel uh, rate to seal their fate. Good. Not far from here, and Azamar is waiting for you. Go to him. He'll provide you with the shelter. Good. Whis whisper directions to the nexus to the slave. Find a way to my camp. You are free, you may go wherever you want. That, that, that is... Go to the 10,000 Delights. The demon will show you the way. Jesus. I'm gonna send him to my nexus. The Asmar women look at you, their expression piercing. You see a mixture of gratitude and awe in their eyes. Thank you, stranger. We will not expect any help in a terrible place. We will not forget it. You did a noble thing when you did not abandon the weak in the hour of need. You have my deepest respect. I'll buy your pleasure, slaves. Stranger stretches his lips and grins. It's been a long time since I've had uh, an Asardian goods such as these sale. If you know what I mean, they'll cost you 
25,000 gold coins. The slaves exchange pleased whispers as they hear a high priority for the ask. These poor morals do not even realize they are no better than cattle. We have a deal. Excellent. Strong recommended keeping the slaves on a diet of local ocean molchus. This will help them stay athletic and fit. It also gives them their meat a pleasantly spicy and musky taste. These poor souls, raised by demons like cattle or for slaughter, you have broken their golden chains. At least they have a hard place to go, okay? Our mistress, we're so happy you belong, we're blah 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 blah. Amber smiles sweetly at the slave, and they respond with trusting, vacant smiles of their own. Don't worry, we'll take you to a tr truly good place. It doesn't look like any place you've, you're you used to. At first, you'll feel uncomfortable, but you'll grow to love it. You're free. I'm going to get you out of the abyss. Take somewhere normal. The slaves exchange confusing glances. Save us? But why would we want to be saved? We are very happy here. Perhaps we should return to the camp first, and then we can have some fun. You'll like it so much, you'll never want to leave the abyss. These poor souls, raised by demons like are like Cal and Slar, you have broken their golden chains. At first, they will hate the harsh world you have delivered them into, but only because they are so naive. I wonder... Celebrate your compassion. Can we have a sale? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. That was a lot of money, actually. Now I'm broke. Mobility of 42 to go back down. That's not dangerous. I've embarrassed myself. That wasn't an epic fail, so it's not actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. Tough looking demon with rough, cruel face and, ha and hands of seasoned warrior greets you with a grin. Looking to buy slaves, eh? Me? I've just sold off a shipment I captured during the last raid. I'm Krez, Captain the Bloody Bitch. Do you know Merida? That nut job? Ha. Uh, her entire crew must be wimps. And weaklings, if they haven't slit e each a leader's throats or fed her to Ishgar's beast yet. Perception check. You can't help but notice that, despite Kreza's dramatic bravo, a spark of fear glimpses in his eyes. Who are you? Demon stares at you with disbelief and bursts into laughter. Who am I? I'm Krez. No, by some Krez got stabbed. Captain of the legendary bloody bitch. I am the most famous damn pirate in the Midnight Isles. You must be a landlubber who's never set foot aboard a sh aboard an airship. If you haven't heard of me, tell me more about the about the pirates. You already have wings of your own. Why do you need to fly airship? It's just about the airships and stuff. I gotta go.
As for Shara says, the delight behold Lady Hamza, the Lady and Lady Shamara is a great honor for him. Hamza is, is looking to buy some slaves, the best slaves. It's for an important job. Bara Taba, allow me to permit this fine specimen, an extraordinary, builded, destructive, and vicious slave. He killed seven hunters before he was captured. Shut your mouth, meatball. Your breath stinks. I don't need gladiators or bodyguards. I'm looking for a pack of strong demons, ones who are not very bright and can obey orders. Actually, she looks vicious. In that case, perhaps the lady would be interested in, in a batch of creatures recently captured in the lower city. They're all strong and quite stupid. That's a thing. Huh? Hemsara, what would you want with these puny creatures? They're small fries, fit only for a cannon fodder for the Crusaders. I would suggest... They seem fine to me. Finish the preparations and send them to the, the harem of burned dreams. And be quick about it. I don't know what the hell happened there, but okay. A dark-haired young man stares up at the ugly lump of flesh hovering in the air. Hello up there. I'm, I'm blinded by your beauty. Please. Des descend to this humble mortal and grant me the honor of a date with you. This guy again? The demon gives an indigenous snort and begins to grumble angrily. His tiefling slave translates, Master Sarojas says that you have ten seconds to get out of his sight, or he'll command his lackeys to gouge out your eyes. All right, I could take a hint. I'm leaving. Young man backs away and jolts something down in his notebook. Done. Excellent source material. Now I can go drink or two in the tavern and get to work. <coughs> I guess I'm going to the tavern after this to figure out what the hell. The demon who looks like a ball of lumpy amoeba flesh hovers in the air. He clenches a whip in his hand. The demon emanates an aura of confidence and authority. He snorts sternly and skinny at the skinny tiefling standing nearby whose eyes are skillfully sewn shut with black silk threads studded with diamond chips. The demon mutters something incomprehensible to you. Tiefling speaks to you in a soft voice devoid of emotion. Master Sardes welcomes you to the flesh markets, a visitor from another plane. He notices right away that you are a person of means, though he himself has no interest in doing business with you. Your presence benefits the flesh markets, so Master Sardes is prepared to spare you some of his time. This slave will interpret his words for you, for he loathes speaking in any language except the one used by his home world. Searcher. The searcher's hideous face is marked with desperation. Overcome, overcoming his pride, he reaches out to you with his gnarled hand, beseeching you to, for help in his humiliation gesture. The tiefling interprets another burst of snorting, this time addressing to Arshale. Master Sir is happy to see Lady Arshale gain me again and wishes her pleasant purchase at the flesh markets. He regrets immediately that he wasn't informed of Lady Arshale's visit in advance, otherwise he would have prepared a special lot exclusive for her. 
Master Charze remembers Lady Oshley's preference very well, and he would be happy to satisfy the wish of such a discerning client. Oshley sounds calm, but you can see her hands have started to tremble. Please tell me, Master Charze, that I have no interest in his slaves anymore. I won't pay for them, neither in gold nor in other ways. Uh, Ave listens carefully, and just as carefully as she examines the tiefling's sewn eyes, his loathing master and surrounding of the slave markets. Then, in a tone that books no objection, she declares, Everything in this place is horrible. Absolutely everything. Point at the searcher. Sell me that dretch. Shesha begins to snort, spraying saliva. His babbles quickly, which causes snort uncertain pause and the slave speech. The dredge, like the one of the other demons in the shipment, is all set aside for Lady Hempsera. Without a doubt, the lady wastes this lazy waste of flesh caught today in the lower city will never prove to be a useful worker, but he still belongs to the new mistress. She's very influence influential person. Therefore, trying to deceive her would be disrespectful and dangerous, and Master Shaza would never commit such a foolish act. He re resents your suggestion that he's capable of doing anything of that kind. Master Shaza is insulted with the and outraged. There are not many vices that can surpass the greed of demons, but pride is one of them. Imagine that tremendous power it has when the two are combined. As disgusting as it is for me to give this advice, listen to me. If this scoundrel feels insulted, offer him gold. Not a part of the deal, but rather a, a compensation for the insult to Rekasel State. Perhaps a gold compensate for the offer. Demon grovels at buying silently. Ah, Master finds your idea very reasonable. Be a thousand gold. Let's leave the grievance and Mr. Stand behind. The dredge approaches you, glancing cautiously around. He mumbles in a quiet voice so that only you can hear his words. I have no idea why Hempstead needs slaves, but from what I heard, they don't live long. Becoming her property is a death sentence, no doubt about it. Meaning, you saved me. So, I... I guess I... The searcher appears confused. It seems this miscreation is not accustomed to being showing mercy and simply doesn't know how to express the, his thanks. How are you captured? I've been one wandering the Lord says for something, never you mind what. I mean, that's not what I mean to say. It's a personal matter, yeah, that's the right way to put it. So, I was roaming around, chatting with all of a sudden, the slave hunters appeared and started chasing us. They threw those of us down. Okay. What do you do now? I'll continue my search and I won't go easy, okay? What are you looking for? Don't ask. That's none of your business. Alright, farewell. I am, I mean you, just be careful. That That's what I'm saying. The searcher hesitates nervously, scratching his back and neck. He repetitively opens his mouth and says something, but nothing comes out. Finally, he starts to mumble incoherently. With the martyr's sigh, the searcher turns around and returns to lose himself once again in Alushria's warm of alleyways. Precisely. Always watch your back. I owe 
always have the upper hand. All right, next is time. This is getting intriguing. And a bomb. I'm. I'm that's not what I wanted to press. Because I knew that was going to happen. Of course. Darren has the pleasure of slaves. Hmm. Should have seen that coming. Okay, I'm gonna see what it looks like. Where I can tell, I can only teleport to the tavern still. Damn it! Precisely. Something for more than just the tavern. guys it's getting late this made up for the the short stream earlier uh this will put me at about my usual in a day of four extra hours four to five hours so guys i appreciate it. a lot of things going on kind of awesome keep gaming guys and i'll catch you later